ओके गाइस वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग विद द चैप्टर ऑफ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशंस एंड वी आर ऑन एक्सरसाइज 4.3 वी हैव ऑलरेडी फिनिश्ड फर्स्ट थ्री क्वेश्चंस ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज इन आर प्रीवियस वीडियोस नाउ वी हैव टू गो टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर सो क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर इट सेज द सम ऑफ रेसिप्रोकल्स ऑफ रहमान्स एजेस इन ईयर्स थ्री ईयर्स अगो एंड फाइव ईयर्स फ्रॉम नाउ इज वन बाई थ्री find his present age okay so whatever has been asked i'll take that as my x so let the present age present age of rahman be x years okay so now his age 3 uh, years ago so his age Three years ago, how much was it? X minus three, right? And his age five years from now. Five years from now, it would be x plus five, right? So those are added. Now mm, they are saying the reciprocals, the sum of reciprocals. So sum means I have to add the plus sign, right? And uh, then I have the uh, sum of their ages. Three years ago, reciprocals also. So one by x minus three plus one by x plus five, right? So look at the question. So sum of the reciprocals of ages in years, uh, three years ago and five years from now. So we have added the reciprocals of both the ages. this is equal to 1 by 3 that's mentioned in the question right so we have got uh, this thing to solve now again i'll take the lcm so my lcm would be by taking the lcm lcm is equal to x minus 3 into x plus 5 right so this is equal to x minus 5 and here i have x minus 3 is equal to 1 by 3 Okay, let's move to the next part. So, opening the brackets, I will get x plus five plus x minus three, and I am simultaneously cross multiplying also. So, this into three is equal to now here I have one. So, I'll take that that side. So, x minus three and x plus five. Okay, so now uh, this is three into two x here and plus two. is equal to now binomial into binomial so x square and minus 3x plus 5x minus 15 okay let's solve this now so this would be 6x right plus 6 is equal to x square plus 2x minus 15 right now i'll bring everything on the right hand side so that my first term which is uh, the x square term would be positive so x square plus 2x minus 15 now i am bringing minus 6x minus 6 is equal to 0 okay so now i have x square and 2x and minus 6x will become minus 4x and this will become minus 21 is equal to 0 Okay, so we have got a quadratic equation here. So there are so many ways of solving, right? So we have found out, uh, and we have done so many ways. So uh, whenever you have got these kind of equation, then you can solve in any way whichever you feel comfortable, unless until it is mentioned that you have to do in some particular way, right? So here now we have done substituting in the quadratic formula. Now I think it's easy. I can use my sum and product method or splitting the middle term right so here my sum is equal to minus 4 and my product is equal to minus 21 so i think my numbers would be uh, 7 and 3 right 7 and 3 now what would be positive because minus 7 because my sum is negative so i would take this as my Plus now splitting the middle term, I have x square minus seven x plus three x minus twenty one is equal to zero. Okay, now 
again this would give me um, i can take x common here so x minus 7 and here plus 3 is common x minus 7 is equal to 0 so my factors for this quadratic equation are x minus 7 and x plus 3 so my x would be equal to 7 or minus 3 right so now but i know the uh, according to the question they are asking the age right so as uh, age cannot be negative right therefore uh, rahman's age rahman's present age rahman's uh, present age what we assumed x as right is equal to 7 years so that's the answer let's move to question number five so question number five says in a class test the sum of shafali's marks in mathematics and english is 30 had she got two marks more in mathematics and three marks less in english the product of their marks would have been 210 find her marks in the two subjects okay so let's what should we assume we can uh, assume her mathematics marks or english marks right anything so let me move to solution so let um, shafali's marks in mathematics b x okay so these are x marks right so the sum is 30 right so therefore her marks in english would be english would be equal to 30 minus x okay so we know the both marks in our uh, algebraic way so we know shafali's marks in mathematics is x and english is 30 30 minus x so if she had got two marks more in mathematics right so now two marks more two more marks in english in mathematics right in mathematics would make it x plus 2 okay and uh, three marks less in english three marks less in english okay what would that make so that would be equal to 30 minus x she got right so three marks less would make minus three so this would be equal to 27 minus x okay then the uh, product of their marks would have been 210 find her marks in two subjects so product would be equal to x plus 2 into 27 minus x okay so this is equal to uh, they have given 210 so this is 210 so let me multiply my binomials so 27 x plus 54 minus x square minus 2x is equal to 210 10 right okay i would take um, everything on the right hand side and also i will add these two terms or subtract because they are of negative sign but uh, when i say okay i have to add two integers right I, with the same thing so now i'll take because i want my x square or whichever uh, whatever will be the first term of this equation would be positive so this would become x square and 27x minus 2x will give me 25 plus but when i take it to that side that becomes minus 25x and this would be minus 54 and plus 210 because it is on the right hand side itself right so it will remain same and the signs of the others will change okay so now x square minus 25 x and 210 minus 54 so who can do it really fast so this would be equal to 156 right so plus 156 okay so 200 
minus 50 would give me 150 and then 10 minus 4 will give me 6 so that's how I did it right okay so this is equal to 0 so now again I can solve by quadratic formula that is also fine or I can do the factorization method or splitting the middle term correct so my here if I split the terms my sum is equal to minus 25 and my product is equal to 156 so little bit of rough work guys okay so product so 156 6 into 1 then suppose if I do by 2 78 and uh, I can see 78 so 13 would be a factor here right and 3 is definitely a factor because sum of the numbers is equal to divisible by 3 so 15 and 6 right so 5 and 2 okay then by 4 so 4 would give me uh, 4 3 times 12 and 4 9 okay and 6 so 6 uh, 26 and 11 is not a factor 12 yeah 13 and 12 so these if I add these two numbers I will get 25 right so that would be my two numbers so minus 13 and minus 12 so the sum so splitting the middle term guys so x square minus 13x minus 12x plus 156 is equal to 0 x is common x minus 13 minus 12 is common x minus 13 is equal to 0 so my factors for this equation are x minus 13 and x minus 12 okay so now my x is equal to 13 or it is equal to 12 right so the, actually both are my answers so if I take my x is equal to 13, if I consider that, then therefore mathematics marks, mathematics marks are 13 and therefore English marks, English marks would be 30 minus 13 right so that would be equal to 17 and if I consider that my x is equal to 12 then therefore uh, mathematics marks mathematics marks are 12 because we took x as mathematics marks right and uh, then English marks English marks would be 30 minus 12 right 30 minus 12 so that would be equal to 18 right so these are my marks for the subjects so that is my answer and uh, so we have finished two questions in this video guys and uh, we'll do the rest of the questions in the next videos so stay tuned and see you then.